And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to let loose the raging bull, Terry Second match of the night, he's still a come Van Gerwen with Stanley. Barney against Mervyn King, and what could be a stellar night of darts if that bunting right match is anything to go by? Commentators to this one, Stuart Pike and John Part. Thank you, Dave, and uh, we're ready to go here and hopefully continue the great excitement that this, this, this evening has brought us so far. Um, and I think Richie, after his very professional performance in the first round, is probably up to the task of uh, giving Terry a good run. Terry's always a good television player, especially here. Yeah, very much so. Both very impressive in the opening round. Burnett with that last leg victory over Simon Whitlock and uh, back into some form in the last couple of months, Richie. Always great entertainment, always great to watch. The same can be said for his opponent, Terry Jenkins, who comes alive when it comes to the big TV tournaments. There he is, the ball. Eight major finals, hasn't won one, still believes he will. What's the point in playing, he said. I don't think I can win one. He makes a good point. Thank you, well, last you night, know. after That's Kevin That's Painter beat Adrian Lewis in a thriller, we said, follow that, gents, to James Wade and Robert Thornton. And they did, in some style. Follow that, gents. And they started in some style. Brilliant, Jenkins. And Richie looking to answer with some sort of comparable in entry. Only finding the wire so far. Let's go. That was a tough third dart to try and get it through those first two. Surprised he didn't move to his other double. Eighty-one. Well, those nine darters from James Wade and Robert Thornton 24 hours ago. If you are just joining us, Stephen Bunting beating Peter Wright in a thriller 3-2. Both players Let's actually go. had six perfect darts in that match. Here, the opening leg is turning out to be a stroll for Jenkins. Not the start that Richie would have wanted. Finally, but you remember in the deciding leg against Simon Whitlock in that terrific match a couple of Tell nights ago, Richie took seven darts to get away in the decider and won it on a one-two-one finish on the ball. Yeah, sometimes it, it doesn't hurt you as much as you think. And the reason is the psychology of the guy that, that does get in straight away and is off and he's well ahead. He kind of loses focus sometimes a bit. Uh, the urgency seems to go out and. and you, you can let up and the guy can't get back at you some, on some occasions when you do well, have a good start faulty. you get a few turns head start you, you need to always faulty. get it over with as quickly as you can and pretend the guy's right with you 99 well, another 140 from richie here would certainly put some pressure on his opponent yeah, still on with a chance well, right on cue, back-to-back 140s from Burnett. Jenkins here will be hoping to follow John Park's advice and finish it. Game show. And he does. Terry Jenkins, second leg, Richie to throw first. Yeah, when you get a big head start, you, you, you can get lethargic on your scoring. Only get the one treble a turn. and Third It's three. difficult at times to maintain your, your whole focus, even though you are playing better.
good adjustment up. 16. Mitchie. Better start in this leg. And has a chance to get down ahead against the throw. Didn't get too far ahead, though. Oh, with throw, sorry. 95. A real character, Richie Burnett. One of the great characters of the sport. And Prince of Wales, king of the one-liners, chatting with Burnett an hour or so ago. Well, well, talking well, about well, the fact he's in a happy place now, enjoying his darts a lot more. And I sort of said to him, well, in the past it has been torture for you on occasions. And that's reply, yes, it's now just torturous fun. Well, yeah, it is always more fun when you're winning, and he has been doing more of that lately, so Let's sort of go together. Wow. Yeah, that that it, sorry, John, I just say that performance the other night when he beat Simon Whitlock. 60. Which you really he won it with 12 scoring days. darts, 11 scoring darts, when he actually won the deciding leg. So he's chasing a big one here in control of this second leg. But it's pressed with Burnett in the second leg because he hasn't panicked, not too worried about the fact that he took a little time to settle and get underway in the opening leg. And as with Jenkins, they'll want to Richie finish it, win the leg, get into the match. Yeah, even though Terry's not on a finish, you don't want to fool around. You want to get this double eight straight away after that treble 17, double four now. Game shot the second leg. Richie Bennett. Third leg, Terry, Terry to approaches the board first. to start the next Came leg. On. Sure, almost he'd rather do that than approach a 1-6-3. <laughs> she couldn't finish. Well, that's the 60. second time that Jenkins has got underway with a 160. But as you say, he likes this. Well, yeah, both times on his throw. Yeah. So that, that's pretty tough in sledding when you're playing a double in format. It's hard to break a guy when he's going in on his throw with a 160 every time. 100. That's a good dart. Sixty-five. A perfect position again for Jenkins. Be disappointed with that one. Sixty-four. The first dart was so good. See, and just a bit of a lax turn and 180 for Mitchie, and things get a lot tighter. When I'm right on 40. You can't watch the scoreboard sometimes, really. It's best just to always just look at your score, get it up. Play the board sometimes, especially in this format. Well, let, let me just ask you on that. Because quite often we hear the phrase, play the board, not the man. But it must be really difficult. Well, if you're playing well and at the top of your game, you can play the man. But it's a dangerous so prospect in this. If the guy doesn't get it, like I say, explaining the psychology, it can affect you. It's best just to look at your number and get it down and out. Uh, and the regular format of 501, st straight off, you know, it's also a good philosophy um, to help get through legs, but I think even more so here. I think the when the, the better players who are at the top of the game, they watch the other guy's score because they can get a little more out of themselves, punish a bad score, or well, answer a good score, faulty. and always do that. Terry, you when you can do that to a guy, it's it's worthwhile. It's double eight here for Terry. Hold throw. So a good chance for Burnett. Well, the one for just put a bit 56. of pressure on, didn't it? And from absolutely nowhere here. Remember, Jenkins started this leg with a 160. 
And Bennett was struggling early doors again. This would be a real steal. Ben and it is, it's against the darts. Richie Bennett. Well, Terry Jenkins Who looks philosophical. Uh, philosophical. And Richie apologises. That was, that was a genuine apology. But you don't say sorry for winning a leg, Richie. You're throwing for the set. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it myself, but yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Punish. Don't apologize for that. To a certain, to a certain extent, if you're, if, if you're the opponent, I guess as well, you don't want to see that, do you? You don't, you don't want. Well, that makes me wonder if it isn't just a little bit of a, a ploy of sorts. A little jab, One kind of meant to look all polite and sportsmanlike, but really is uh, in a convoluted way anything but. Oh, too far. And there's the snatch. Again from Burnett, the all familiar snatch from Richie Burnett. He's actually trying to erase it from his game to try and get rid of it, but he wow. said it's very, very difficult when it's what you've been used to. He, he said, if I can get rid of it, he reckons I can, he, he can go on and be a, a top 16 player, you know, in the next year or so. But on the other hand, also admitting that it's extremely difficult to, to, to stop doing it when that's been the way of it and well, the style for so long that's him you know i don't think he should change i agree 95 it's what you're comfortable with when, in your throwing motion and if you try and muck with it too much you, you're going to really possibly damage your game more than you can 95. ever help it you, know, you should just concentrate on playing as well as he can and use the techniques he's always used We may have missed a trick there, Terry Jenkins. But at here, throwing for the set. Well, that's a great dart from Richie. 125. It's an even better Terry dart to get into a nice out. 1 2 1. So very important for Jenkins to try and get another treble to leave double 12. He has to stay alive in the set. Double 12. 132. Richie well, but that leaving the 1-2-1 that he won the match with Simon Whitlock in the first round. He hit 1-2-1 on the ball in the deciding leg of the deciding set, but he's left himself this for the set. Fantastic! Absolutely fantastic from Richie Binet. A right smile from Terry Jenkins. He'll be hurting inside. Burnett there, after losing the opening leg, has reeled off three on the spin. Strike one to Richie against Terry Jenkins here at the City West. And Mervyn King. Uh, a couple of Dutch players looking to get a round further tonight. And, uh, have good chances of doing so. Richie's out on the one two one. Six. The, the trouble eleven was dead center. I mean, there wasn't even a doubt, and there was no thought of him going for a fat eleven or anything. He, he, it was precision darts, and the, the double fourteen also looked immaculate. It, a really nice out under pressure. What's Richie like to play against? <laughs> he's funny to play against. Actually, he does. He's a lot of antics, and uh, he gets wound up if he misses and. Uh, I've always enjoyed a game with him. We always do well, we score well, and he misses a few doubles, and I win, so I love it. <laughs> but uh, seriously, he is intense. He, he, he winds up, he gets right into every game he plays. You can't fault effort with Richie Burnett. Well, it was only last month that Richie will feel, well, he should have won a Players' Championship wow, tournament in Crawley. Had a great run to the final. He beat Michael Van Gerwen on the way. He was 5-3 up against Gary Anderson in the final. Missed four darts to win him. 6-3. And ended up losing 6-5. Well, you find that with Richie, a lot of the time he doesn't really get beat, so to speak, as much as he will miss a few well, opportunities to win and then lose the match. Yeah. He's always in a position to win, which is a good way to be. He'll beat himself, though, won't he? Well, but it's a good thing getting into those spots a lot, and that's why he does have success. Well, he's got six darts to make it four consecutive legs here, Burnett. Six. 
62. Well done. To leave tops. Not too much pressure from Jenkins, wow. must have been said. Which you require Fulton. In charm the first Lovely leg. dart to take Richie the lead. Second leg, Terry to throw first. Richie almost getting into sort of cruise control. 18. That's what happens when you start winning legs and rattle them off and off and off. You, you, you do get that comfort. Uh, level that allows you to hit your targets easier and the doubles easier. Well, we saw that didn't we on on Wednesday night when Let's Gary go. Anderson was in a spot of bother against Mickey Mansell and One moment of magic and nine consecutive legs later. He was walking off the stage And, and with every wow. leg one the next one just gets all the easier. It's the psychology of it and it's uh, That's how it goes and on the other hand it gets harder if you're the opponent to, to find something you're just scrambling and uh, very difficult task to stop a winning streak. Momentum. Great thing in a lot of sports, isn't it? Well, we could have got another 12 in there, Jenkins. First one of the match. You should stop the rock here. 96. Terry, you require 141. Sixty-five. The wise third dart leaves seventy-six instead eighty-one. I like that as a third choice with hundred and one left. Twenty-five or bull. That's one dart in your hand. Much cleaner out seventy-six than eighty-one. Well, I'm right on forty. Terry requires seventy-six. Sixteen for tops. Yeah, well done. Now we'll make it feel a whole lot better. The losing four consecutive legs. Good. This set is still in Richie Burnett's hands. He has the darts. And he's away, straight away. Yeah, Jenkins was equally impressive in his first round win. Two sets to nil against Kim Hybrex. 95 average, 4 one eighteens, And yeah, comes alive when it comes to the big TV stages. Likes it here, reach two finals. One on one. Worked hard for that ton, squeak. Got that third dart in through the other two. It's a bit tricky, but he did it. Good darts, Jenkins. For Michael Van Gerwen, who won here two years ago, it launched a golden Tuxton run, which saw him crowned world One champion. Dean Wynn Stanley. Big win over Michael Smith in the opening round. That should be a terrific game, and so should that to round off the night. One Barney has the wood on Mervyn King. Dominant. In TV events between the two. That should be a great way of rounding off the night. And that goes back a long way to the yeah. BDO days as well, and they were both there. Well, we're talking about 12 years of television dominance by Barney. And, uh, you know, that's going you to know, always be in both players' heads. So, interesting matchup well, there. Especially since we talked about it a lot now. Brother probably has a chance. Oh, but that here under pressure. Oh, that's a lovely dart. Jenkins has put him under pressure. He thought it was in. He was walking. You better hope this goes in. 69. Well, Terry, you require 47. I suppose Jenkins deserves the shot with the pressure. Well, he wasn't going for that. He's hit the treble. He's looking for single seven and tops. He's hit 21. So you'll have to look here at double 13. Not what he was looking at. Game shown. The, the result's the same. Terry Jenkins. Just as in the first game. But that broke Jenkins in the third leg after Jenkins had missed darts at a double. Jenkins has just beaten Burnett in the third leg after the Welshman missed darts at a double. You know, Terry should have apologized there going treble seven, double 13, <laughs> and stealing the leg after Richie missed. Now, come on.
That's just not polite. Fetitsu. I can't, I can't ever see John Parth apologising for anything that he's done no, I'm, on I'm, the hockey. I can, I can, it's, if I win a leg, I don't care how it happens. <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, you just get on with it, don't you? So can that respond? And I always enjoy things like that. Where he's, he's got the 47, hits the treble seven, and then you hit the odd double. I enjoy that because it does irk your opponent. You know, it's just a, sort of a niggle. And you, you don't plan to do it, but when you get away with stuff like that, it, I think it's a it's a great psychological help in a game. Uh, look at those. Richie Bennett. They got underway. And, uh, the finishing's been pretty good. But two critical misses in the last leg. 96. This is important, isn't it? Jenkins here with the darts. But Burnett has six darts from 169 to take us to a deciding leg. Needs a big treble. We'll look downstairs. Oh, what a good dart that is. And leaves a good number, 72. Really, so many choices there, and they all end up on a nice double. Which Terry can do here. Pressure. Which you require 72. That is to keep the set alive. Yeah. He's got options. He's going for the 12, so 20 in tops. One dart for double top. Game so on the Strikes play. back. Richie Bennett. Well done, Richie. Good play, Richie. The throw well, I suppose Game that on. leg. Just show when Richie says he's in form, that leg proves it. That was a, that was a really, really good response. And now it's back in his own hands. Well, he made up. He made up for the fact that he yeah. missed his opportunity in the last leg. Really, it never should have came to Terry having an outshot. So, one. Um, you know, this is fair enough. He just made up for this past leg, and now he needs to hold here. He's got in well. Really, the, the pressure's on Terry, and he's answering that well. One round 20. Well, pivotal leg. But that with the darts to make it two sets to nil. Jenkins scrambling. Well, he nearly kicked Terry Jenkins in the shins then. But it was effective. It may not be enough. Richie Burnett. Oh, this has been a really good leg, John. And it's getting better for him. Yeah, it's such a crucial leg for Jenkins. Does not want to go down 2 0 in sets. You know, Richie could survive losing this leg, but a lot more difficult for Terry to survive it. Oh, we saw Kevin Painter come from two sets down to beat Adrian Lewis, but it doesn't happen too often. Oh, it's a hard, hard task. And Kevin really did accomplish something against Adrian. Well, he didn't go the 19s route, Burnett, because Jenkins no. isn't on a finish. Not on a finish. Because if he hit the 419s and leave the ball in the third four. guard, he wouldn't go for it. So yeah. why even start down that road? I agree entirely with that. And he's done well to leave 32, so... It all worked Richie out well for Richie there. He just has to cash this in for a two-set lead. Double eight. Game well, show the second set. That was a really Richie good Bennett. set again from Richie Burnett. Jenkins the low. Burnett with back-to-back -back legs. On. It's back-to-back -back sets. Two up. And Burnett here. One set away from a place in the quarterfinals. Just that 32 in even keeps the pressure on Terry. Seven. Terry has to make sure he holds his throw here. You know, if Richie's anywhere near behind it within 100 points or so, and Terry's going to feel the pressure of it. Wow. Pressure is the key word, John. First 
plus 180 for Burnett. When I ran out of Fulton. That cost him leaving it out, missing that 180. Might have done well to go for 25 or bowl the third dart there. Because Richie, the way he's going, is going to leave a finish. When I ran out of 35. If Terry had gone for 25, hit 25, he would have had 167 left. Now he has no finish. He's got to hope that Richie doesn't cash that big 19. one in. Richie require 154. It's on. Triple 18. How much pressure will be on Terry Jenkins to take out this 53? Well, yeah, he needs 13 for tops. He's just got to make sure he doesn't hit the treble 13. And 98. Leave double 7. Terry, you require 53. Just like he did with the treble 7 to leave double 13. Numbers are funny. Double top. Game shot the first Good leg. job there under a lot Terry of pressure. Jenkins. Just to hold the throw. Second leg, Richie to throw first. Came on. certain enthusiasm about Richie Bennett renewed enthusiasm for the sport that's given One him man, 20. a lot of good and a lot of bad moments over the years well where he's changed for the positive is he very I, I don't see him having any negative kind of reactions at all to anything that goes wrong 59. not to the extent that he, he used to do he used to take bad dart or a bit of bad luck to heart now it's just so easy for him to just get on with it keep playing and playing and this game's that much better because of that attitude Goes back to the point that we were talking about before. Torturous fun, he calls it. But he said, he said, I am enjoying it. You know, and, and, and it's significant. When I ran out faulty. You wonder sometimes how he manages to do that. <laughs> but he does. He somehow keeps his line straight, when though. I All that motion equalizes out. Keeps the release straight because of it. Great shot from Jenkins, though, to put the pressure on. Yeah, that first start was absolutely zero help for him. Wasn't able to, to rally and find it, so it's double 16 for Jenkins. Double eight. It's up 2 0. So, momentum, momentum has turned rather quickly here. Much like in the Painter Lewis match, where the first two sets were five legs, and the third set when Kevin won one finally was 3 0. This opportunity is here for Terry. It's on his darts. 100. But there was no going back. There is no going back for Terry Jenkins. No score. Well, it looks like Jenkins is going to get a setback. One hundred. He looked right out of this leg until those two darts, and you know he just has a slim chance of keeping the set alive. One hundred. Uh, two misses at double sixteen. Opening the door for Jenkins in this set. It's actually 6-5. 60. In Terry, terms of legs. Yeah, well, he had the two missed doubles that opened the door to keep Terry alive the last set, didn't yeah. he? So it's really been about whether Richie takes the legs or not more 59. than whether Terry does. Richie seemingly a little more dominant. <laughs> Would you know he's hit three 180s in the last three legs? But he could end up losing all three of them, Burnett. Well, they needed that one just to get to a finish. So 
Just to let Terry think a little bit. He's got a chance to steal the, the leg here. This would certainly be a blow to Jenkins. Treble 20, treble 17. <laughs> he had to have a ground view look at that to see if it was in. Disappeared off the screen a moment there, didn't he? Got to go, Terry. Got to go. Well it's done. Terry Jenkins stays alive in this match. He needs business. Relief for the ball. Jenkins and Burnett battling for a place in the quarterfinals. Burnett still with the edge. 2 1 with sets. Amy, he says. But he's still in there fighting. Got to come from two sets down if he wants to set up a quarter-final clash with Stephen Bunting on Friday night here at the City West at the Grand Prix. The winner two years ago, Michael Van Gerwen, next against Dean Wynn Stanley and Raymond Van Barneveld confirming game on. rounds off the night. Barneveld against Mervyn King. So Richie has the darts in the fourth set to win the match. 52. Well, Richie switching after he hit the five going for the double top. Now, you say, well, why didn't he stay at the tops? Well, because it was clear, but the thing is, when you miss by that far, you want to reset your brain and switch switch down at double 16, hit it first dart. Exactly why you do it. And he's well ahead now as Terry failed to get in. Well, that was unlucky. Kiss off the barrel, taking it into the single one. You know, Terry needs to get that break of throw in this set to keep the match alive. 43. Chance a 180, and he basically catch up here. Just pushing too hard to try and get that. 59. Sometimes you see that, oh, I, I, if I could do that, I get it. And, it doesn't flow because you're trying to force it in. Jenkins, for me, very much a rhythm player when he gets going. And when he gets going, he's very difficult to beat. You remember when he wow. took out Michael Van Gerwen in the UK Open in the semi finals and irresistible. It was the Jenkins of old, but he needs to be, he needs to be in a rhythm, Fifth I feel, John. Which you require 129. Yeah, probably this isn't the best pace, which you a, a deliberate player. You wouldn't say slow, but not exactly quick overall. Went for the 20s first, but, uh, so he didn't have a finish after. But, of course, he's more worried about leaving a decent double. Bull would leave tops. 64. So now he's only 25 away from that top, so he'd be happy with that. Terry, like it just 50. doesn't have a Did nice smooth a throw at the moment. He's trying to force them all into the treble 20. <laughs> How often does that happen? Go for the 25, hit the ball. No score. He's, hit, he's, he's bust the score. He's bust the score. Well, that was just careless. Yeah, you can bust by going less than the score, just because you can't leave one, obviously, right? So <laughs> there you go. 64 out Amazing. doesn't count. 65 out, they try again to try and hit the 25 rather than the bull. Yeah, tops he needs. No so harm, no harm done. And Burnett now just two legs away from the quarterfinals. Some players do prefer the treble 11 on that combination 65. Saying you don't hit the 50 then. Well, if you hit an 11, you still need another single to leave double. So. What's the difference if you have to hit a seven and leave double four, right? So the only problem was he hit double seven then. And straight in again here. So lots of pressure One on Jenkins. 20. He's good handling response. it this time, yeah. Looking smooth, much better darts one there. Going to flick the last one though. I, I don't know if it was deflection as much as he just didn't throw it right. 
were both vast and experienced players. Surprised me the first time they ever met in a TV major on a big darting stage. But it's advantage Burnett at the moment. Hunting down a place in the quarterfinals. What a man voting! Oh, very good legs from Jenkins. He took this out, he tore that leg, so that's about what you need when you're throwing first, and you must win. Be happy enough, 16 to leave the tops. Burnett at 182, no finish. Go for treble 10 and leave double 16. Wow, yeah, so 50. he said, Well, you better hit it, Terry, because I will not miss. Treble 10. 20. That big shot from yeah. Richie definitely got into the mind of Terry there. Richie, you require 32. Indeed, it put the pressure on, didn't it? Oh, oh, fantastic from Burnett. Is the writing on the wall for the raging ball? Because Richie, Richie is on. stepping up to throw for a place in the quarterfinals. A key dart. What a man on 20. Well, it was interesting there. Terry Jenkins was looking down at the floor as Richie Burnett threw his first dart. As he heard the thud, just a little look up, just a little look up. It, not what he wanted to see. The no. dart was right in the middle yeah. of the tops. Well, you can't help yourself sometimes, especially in a bad situation. You, you just have to know sometimes. Wow. Maybe that helps, maybe it doesn't. Well, it's now or never for Jenkins. A hundred at the moment, you feel isn't enough. One hundred. Oh, good dart again from the Welshman. Impressed by what I've seen from Richie Burnett tonight, John. Yep. Well, and the continuation of his business-like form from the first round. He's just looking like a consummate darts professional, getting the most out of his game. Six darts from here for a place in the last eight of the Grand Prix. Might need them. 85. Oh, good last dart, Richie Burnett. Oh, good pressure. Good pressure. One man and 30 for the match. Which you require 56. 16, and I'll give him two darts for the match. It's double top, and he only needs the one. Richie Burnett needs everything to him now. Quarterfinal bow. Brilliant from Burnett. Really impressive. He's taken out Whitlock. He's taken out Jenkins. And he sets up a quarterfinal shootout with the bullet. Stephen Bunting on Friday night. Burnett goes through.